Hello, everybody. There's me in the reflection. Hello. <laughs> I have been planting seeds. Now, this is what we call the sunroom. And it's probably not really any warmer than a greenhouse would be because this room is not uh, insulated and it's just a room off the back of the house but it has all the lights and yeah I still have tiny tomatoes but I think the plants are just about you know giving up but they've done really really well and to be honest I've hardly eaten them I don't eat tomatoes well I'm not supposed to eat them anyway put it that way now I have all of these seeds here we have kale there but it's, it's red kale and this half is spinach and then they are all going on the compost heap at some point in the next few days probably them too down here I am hopefully growing a load of lettuce up here I have a load of onions hopefully growing from seed another little rose bush there called blessing which looked pretty dead when I bought it to be honest so here we have some more onions on that half then this lot here in the middle this is hopefully chives and this is leeks and I've never grown leeks before so uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do and some of these say to start in February or March and I'm just trying to get a little bit early start in here I have loads and loads of strawberries which I'm hoping are actually going to grow because I think I managed to eat about one or two strawberries before Billy ate them all last year and here I have Brussels sprouts well I don't generally eat Brussels sprouts but I am told if I grow them at home and I cook them properly I will probably like them and here's another rose bush and the reason I bought these rose bushes is because they were on offer exceptionally cheap uh, and this one's called peace and my gran always used to have roses and the rose that I had to remember her by is looking a bit past its best thanks to the goats down there I have nothing that's a tray that's already it's ready for anything I want to put in and this cardboard here was just collecting any drips of water from there now I'm having to be a little bit ingenious regarding watering these because I don't have a little watering can and even if I did it would all end up going through here and then down there and onto the floor and I've already got more than enough stains on the floor here because this is the floor that we laid the new floor put this special new shiny grout on and uh, we can't get the grout off the tiles it's meant to just be able to be wiped off but uh, it doesn't it doesn't work so with my usual self of make do with what I have this is my watering solution <laughs> This is a lamb feeding bottle. <laughs> it holds half a litre, 500 mil, uh, so just over 15 fluid ounces. And it works. It's got quite a large hole because that actually had goat milk, which is really quite thick in comparison and drugs and stuff. But it works. Look at that. I can put just tiny bits of water and I don't have to waste water. I don't lose water all over the side. This is just fantastic. And I have to squeeze it to get the water. If you don't squeeze it, that's what you get. So, uh, yeah, I've actually already watered these. That's another of, of my completely random things. And uh, this teat is a bit too big to be used for anything other than specific stuff. And I have spare bottles. So uh, my spray bottle got demolished a few days ago by a goat. There's a surprise. 
now over, oops, sorry. So we've seen those, I've got nothing down there yet. This, some of you may remember, is my strange strawberry bush tree thing. Um, it kept getting eaten by Jen, but it's recovered a little. Need a bit of a drink. Now this, <laughs> this was given to me in July, end of July, by Jazz Alternative Small Holding. I can't even tell you what it is. But her words to me were, this plant is something that even I could grow. It's going to be pretty much indestructible. Really? <laughs> I think that just shows. Oh dear. That shows just how bad I am at gardening. I am so useless. <laughs> However, fuchsias, I can grow fuchsias without a problem. Um, I can't kill them off. <laughs> but those tomatoes, it's January. And the only reason they're dying is because I haven't watered them for probably about, I don't know, two months. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah. 